So often people ask me, why are we spending so much time and energy to move all of our curriculum documents from Google Docs or from Word documents into Aspen? And I often hear the same question from colleagues. Why should we expend so much energy? And it's a great question. Um, it can be answered in um, a variety of ways, but there are four main points that I'd like to discuss with you um, regarding moving all of our curricula over into Aspen. First, the curriculum map, the teacher grade book, and the teacher planner are all intrinsically linked together within Aspen. So there's a direct connection between curriculum maps, the grade book, and the planner. Secondly, the curriculum map will contain all of the resources needed by classroom teachers to implement lessons. So whether they're um, worksheets that teachers have created, whether they're PDF documents that we have access to, or whether they're web links that will support students or teachers during a lesson implementation, they'll all be available to teachers in the resources. Thirdly, curriculum maps are linked to standards in your courses. They link all of those pieces together. So the standards that you're teaching in your courses are linked. And lastly, the curriculum map, your gradebook, and the assignments will connect directly to student learning objectives, or SLOs as they're called. So uh, to give you a little more information, let me kind of back up and go through each of the areas. So I stated that the curriculum map, the gradebook, and the planners are all intrinsically linked. And what I mean by that is that um, a curriculum map is directly connected to your planner in Aspen. Um, and that planner is directly connected to your gradebook. So there is that very direct connection between the curriculum map on one hand and your gradebook on the other. Um, this connection offers a lot of evidence uh, regarding student growth over time. It also allows you to compare students' growth not only over the time they've spent in your classroom, but the possibility of looking at performance over the entire life of the student while they were in the district is, is just immense. Um, this connection also supports the concept that student growth is measured using a variety of student performances or performance measures. We can use standardized assessments such as NECAP or PALS, district-created common assessments, and the work done in classrooms by teacher-created assessments. Linking to multiple data sets supports our belief that multiple measures come in different types and flavors and all of them help tell the, the whole story about our students. I also talked about the fact that curriculum maps will contain all of the resources needed by teachers to implement lessons. So we often create curriculum maps that contain a complete scope and sequence as well as summative and or formative assessments. However, we don't always provide a complete bank of the resources that teachers can use when they implement lessons in an instructional sequence. Housing all of our lessons within Aspen and the curriculum mapping tool will allow teachers to readily share teacher-created resources or resources they mine through exhaustive internet searches. So we all know that teachers kind of pull all of these resources together in one place for themselves, this allows us to share them throughout the entire school district. Um, and it also allows us to differentiate um, for our students providing additional resources for students in our classrooms. I also stated that curriculum maps are linked to standards in your courses. So linking curriculum maps to standards and in individual courses allow classroom teachers the ability to review the lessons they've implemented in their classroom, the standards addressed, and any assessments tied to those standards. This powerful association will allow teachers to review standards that were and were not addressed, 
In addition to reviewing what sta standards were addressed, we will be able to review the level of student performance against those standards. The ability to analyze this data will allow us to make better decisions regarding curriculum revision and will give us a lot of data to discuss at common planning time meetings or CPT meetings. And lastly, I, I stated the fact that the curriculum map and your grade link gradebook will link assignments connected to student learning objectives. The curriculum map tool will link work that your students do in your classroom using the planner and ergo will link back to the gradebook in your classroom. This connection will allow you to identify which assignments are directly connected to student learning objectives. This direct connection will allow classroom teachers and evaluators a rich detailed view of the multiple measures that teachers employ in their classrooms to assess, to assess student growth and performance. This important connection will allow leaders at the district level to concretely connect classroom performance and SLO attainment. This rich level of data collected will allow us to ask intelligent questions about what our next steps as a district may be as it relates to professional development. So there are really some incredibly important and um, compelling reasons why we should be using the curriculum mapping tool in Aspen because it really allows us to kind of take all of these data sets and pull them together. Um, and it, it allows us to value the work that's being done in classrooms, not just um, to value one assessment type over another assessment type, but to look at all of the work that we do and how it really fits together for student growth over time.